In a year, I probably met with more than 50 different officials, um, high-ranking officials, including Mark Zuckerberg. I wanted them to know what we were seeing, I wanted them to tell me what they thought about it, and I wanted them to fix it. Maria Ressa, who runs a prominent news website, says she had been warning Facebook since 2016 that President Rodrigo Duterte was using a network of paid followers and fake accounts to spread lies about his policies and attack his critics. The UN has branded his war a crime under international law. Especially critics of his brutal war on drugs, which has taken an estimated 12,000 lives. Human Rights Watch is called government-sanctioned butchery. President Duterte was targeting anyone who questioned the drug war, anyone who questioned the alleged extrajudicial killings, anyone on Facebook who questioned that would get brutally bashed. We're protected by the Constitution. We've been stripped of those protections online. Ressa herself would eventually come under attack. They were attacks on the way I looked, the way I sounded, that I should be raped, that I should be killed. We gave it a name patriotic trolling, online state-sponsored hate that is meant to silence, meant to intimidate. So this is an information ecosystem that just turns democracy upside down. And where lies are prevalent. <laughs> where lies are truth. She traced the disinformation to a network of 26 fake accounts and reported it to Facebook at a meeting in Singapore in August of 2016. What were you asking them to do? Exactly what every news group does, which is take control and be responsible for what you create. Were you given an explanation as to why they weren't acting? No. No. I think Facebook walked in to the Philippines and they were focused on growth. What they didn't realize is that Countries like the Philippines, countries where institutions are weak, where corruption is rampant, these countries don't have the safeguards. And what happens when you bring everyone onto a platform and do not exercise any kind of rules, right? If you don't implement those rules beforehand, you're going to create chaos. There's a problem in the Philippines. We've heard about it from people on the ground there that Facebook has been to some degree weaponized by the Duterte regime there. What are you doing to, to stem this problem in the Philippines? One thing we're trying to do, anytime that we think there might be a connection between violence on the ground and online speech, the first thing for us to do is actually understand the landscape. Monica Bickert is Facebook's head of global policy and worked for the Justice Department in Southeast Asia. There's a, a fundamental question, which is, what should our role be? And as we're identifying misinformation, should we be uh, telling people what we're finding? Should we be removing that content? Should we be downranking that content? And we now have a team that is focused on how to deal with exactly that sort of situation. In April, Facebook created a news verification program and hired Ressa's organization as one of its fact checkers, though she says the problems are ongoing. The company ultimately took down the accounts Ressa identified and just last week removed dozens more. I think what is happening is that this company is way in over its head in terms of its responsibilities. It's way in over its head in terms of what power it holds. The idea isn't that it's just like you magically add Facebook and horrible things happen, but you have Facebook as this effective gasoline to simmering fires.